All right, finishing page two of this practice test, we have the ant going halfway around the circle. So getting the displacement, now what we're assuming, and I should have said this, is the ant starts here and ends up here. So its displacement in a straight line, right, we're just interested in where it ends up from where it started, is simply the diameter of the circle, which works out to four meters. So its displacement halfway around the circle is, we can say, four meters to the left, or we can say negative four meters. Either one's fine. The distance that it covers is going to be half a circumference. So I'm going to write delta x here just to remind us. And here I'm going to write capital D for distance. So that's going to be one half the circumference, which is going to be one half times two pi r, that's going to end up being pi times 2. So that's going to be 2 pi, or if you prefer, 6.8, sorry, 6.3 meters. Either one's fine. Now it says it takes pi over 2 seconds to go halfway around the circle, so we want the average velocity. So that's going to be delta x over the time, and that's going to be negative 4 over, and I'm going to round here a little bit, about 1.6. Um, and that's going to give us about 2.5. So it's about negative 2.5. meters per second. Now here I made a little bit of a typo so we're gonna get the speed um, assuming two things so let's get the speed as the distance over the time and so that's gonna be 2 pi over the time um, and what I'll say is this if you used time equals pi over 2 you're gonna get this you're gonna get your speed as 4 meters per second. If you used time equals pi, then you'll get your speed as 2 meters per second. So um, this is because of my typo here versus here. So that's page 2 of the one-dimensional constant velocity motion review.